It's about hmm, 15 or 20 years ago, I was giving a talk to a group of young leaders. I had heard his name a few times around town and he worked for Hawaiian Electric, but I'd never really met him. And at the end of the talk, he came up to ask me a few questions afterwards and we started a dialogue. And I walked away feeling pretty impressed. I mean, he, he asked the right questions, very inquisitive, and I, I could just see something in, in him that I liked. When he was in high school, a friend of his said that, that he wasn't really known as the guy that was going to be the CEO as much as the guy that was going to end up with the best looking girl on campus. Um, but he ended up with the best looking and the best person he could ever marry, Melanie. It's pretty interesting. I used to describe him in the community as probably the best and brightest up and coming young executive in Hawaii. But that's really not a fair description anymore because he's there. This is someone who is proud to be a Native one, uh, who is a leader in our business and civic community. And he's also chair of a very significant Native One Health organization. And that he sets a really great example of leadership, but also someone who's very sensitive uh, to his, his, histor his cultural background. When he was assigned the very difficult task of handling the whole Kamehameha Schools Bishop Estate uh, fiasco, for the lack of a better word, uh, um, and Eric was put into uh, a fire more, more like a volcano at a very early age and he had to stand up against some very very important people in the community including at times uh, being attacked by the trustees themselves. I mean, that was a very significant role that he played, uh, one that took a lot from him emotionally and intellectually as well but that was transformative for Kamehameha Schools. And then I pitched him on uh, becoming uh, CEO of Hawaiian Telecom. And he says to me, wait, wait, let me understand this. <laughs> I've just been made Executive Vice President, Chief Operating Officer of Hawaiian Electric. You want me to take much less in pay with a job that has no security, and you're asking me to take it through bankruptcy and reorganize it. You're kidding me, right? And so on behalf of all of us at Queens, your ohana, uh, congratulations to you. And certainly we want to congratulate your better half, Melanie, for being there and standing by you uh, as we know how much time all of these activities take away from the family. So congratulations. I, I, I can only say to you, Eric, I, I'm, I'm very, very proud to be your friend. I admire you very much and I know that you're just beginning. Uh, keep it up, buddy. Aloha. I'd like to personally thank Dean Vance Rowley for nominating me for this prestigious award. I especially want to thank the committee for selecting me among, I'm sure, a long list of well-deserved candidates. I'm so honored to be recognized as one of University of Hawaii's distinguished alumni and to be a part of a group of very, very accomplished people. I want to especially recognize and congratulate the other honorees uh, with a special uh, congratulations to Dr. Larry Price for his Lifetime Achievement Award. It's really a blessing to be honored together with all of you. I want to thank my parents who have been so supportive of me growing up. They always wanted me to pursue my dreams and not theirs. And they just came alongside and trusted me and supported me along the way. I'm so, so thankful for their support. I also want to thank my children, Lauren and Jake, for their love and support, and also for the sacrifices that they made over the years uh, to help support me uh, professionally. A lot of times I was traveling and, and they understood uh, that in many ways. But the person I need to thank the most is my wife, Melanie. Mel, this award is as much your award as it is mine's, and I just wanna thank you so much for your enduring love and support. I could not have done any of this without you. I love you and thank you so much. You know, in my professional career, I've had so many wonderful mentors, people that have taught me a lot about leadership, about business, about the community. And the people that come to mind are first Walter Dodds. Walt, you know, you're one of my closest friends in this world. And I just thank you for being such a incredible mentor to me 
You have taught me, most importantly, to lead with heart and with passion, to trust my instincts, and to always speak the truth. I'm forever grateful for your love and your support all of these years. I also want to thank Bob Clark, who taught me a lot about what it's like to be an executive of a publicly traded company that has served me very, very well over the years, not only at HEI when I worked with you, Bob, but also when I became CEO of Hawaiian Telcom, and now as we're preparing to do an IPO on First Hawaiian Bank. The other person I'm so thankful for is the late Randy Carnes. Randy was my first boss, uh, my first job out of college at a firm called Arthur Anderson. Randy didn't teach me how to be an accountant, he taught me how to be a business person. And he really taught me to think strategically and to act strategically. And I owe a lot to him because a lot of what I've learned uh, in business and in strategy and leadership, I learned from Randy. You know, I've benefited greatly from the education that I got from the university. Not just the education I received in the classroom, but the education I received um, outside of the classroom and the clubs and activities that it offered me to the connections it allowed me to make within the business community that allowed me to get my first job out of college when I was actually a junior. Uh, you know, I owe so much to the university. I'm so grateful for this recognition. I'm so grateful for what it has done in investing in me and providing me the education I needed to fulfill a professional career that I could not have written any better. But it prepared me, most of all, for life. And I just am thankful for, again, the deans, the faculty, the administrators, the advisors, as well as my peers, who I was able to learn a lot from in that journey that we all experienced together. I also want to thank Art Ushijima for being a great partner in helping us at Queens extend the mission and vision of Queen Emma and King Kamehameha IV in really providing quality health care services to the people of Hawaii. I want to say thank you again to everyone who has been a part of this wonderful event and this recognition and thank you everyone for coming. Aloha.